Our next speaker tonight is a production librarian at the Ann Arbor District Library. Please welcome Andros. What will you find if you go all the way to the bottom of the stairs at the downtown library on Fifth Avenue? The new secret lab. You won't find beakers, Bunsen burners, brains in jars, H2SO4, Marty Feldman, or Mojo Jojo. You'll find a space where members of your community of all ages are creating things. Not a dingy basement, but an inviting, well-lit space that we're stocking with the tools and stuff that you will need to create things. What do you want to create? Do you have an idea for a thing that will solve a problem? Or do you want to just make something because it's awesome? We're going to equip you with the tools and make it possible for this to happen. You've heard about AEDL's Music Tools Collection, and hopefully you've heard the awesome record that local musician Dave Menzo created with it. So maybe you'd like a place to connect with the people who've used these tools and have the skills that can help you get started. One of the first things added was the Kelsey Tabletop Letterpress. How many of you have visited Greenfield Village and been really blown away by the giant letterpresses that they have there? And you've wanted to use them, but you haven't been able to set your own type? We want to give you the chance to make that happen. Want to create business cards or fancy invitations or a tiny newspaper? If you write poetry that even your friends and family won't read, they will read it, I promise you, after you've created a really fancy chat book. <laughs> We're working on stocking the shelves full of the supplies that you'll need. The print on your cat's birthday card should match the chartreuse of his eyes. We've already had a few sessions with young Rembrandt's drawing classes where kids got to play with color. So come and explore color theory with us. Yes, you could get your cat's birthday card printed at the local copy shop, but a laser printer just can't compete with the tactile relief printing that you get from a letterpress. The limitations of the technology become a design constraint that gives everything you print the more human touch. The University of Michigan School of Information partnered with ADL to become the first regular users of this space. They're holding class in the Secret Lab this semester that allows students to explore the concepts involved with creating spaces for community collaboration. Libraries have always been spaces for community collaboration. In the 1950s, Ray Bradbury wrote Fahrenheit 451 by using a diamond of time typewriter at the Los Angeles, I think it was at UCLA library. It wasn't a public library, but it was an academic library. What other things might exist in your minds that you would like to bring to life? What tools will you find there? Tools to help you create paper art, like a letterpress, a die cutter, cutting tools, spinning wheels, drum carters, sewing machines, lots of fiber art tools. Um, tools to help with small electronics, uh, soldering irons, a 3D printer. As we grow, we'll be offering a few more things like a laser cutter, CNC router, bookbinding equipment. Want to learn to sew? Want to design pockets that will accommodate your oversized phone? We all need tactical pants. Stop by tomorrow at 2 p.m. and we'll teach you how to measure to alter your own patterns. We've done the legwork for you and are tracking down the stuff that will make your thoughts into physical objects. There will also be people there with knowledge to share, programs and job and sessions where you can ask questions and learn stuff. Did you know that in 1895, Washtenaw was the only county in Michigan to shear over 1 million pounds of wool? 1,344,262 to be precise. It's archived in old news. You can find that at the library. I don't know if we still hold these bragging lights, but we have a lot of wool, so you can come make something with it. With vinyl cutters, you can design your own decals to put on your trapper keeper or your car or your bike, create stencils to add patterns to your living room or wall, or you can create a custom cover for that chat book that you did with your bad poetry. Some of us listen to the inner critic that tells us what we can and can't do, but put a tool in a kid's hand and something's going to get built or hacked. The secret lab is a place where people of all ages can create like kids. And the inner critic is checked at the door. What the secret lab isn't, it's not a makerspace. Ann Arbor already has makerspaces that do a great job at what they do. If you want to learn extremely technical skills like woodworking or welding or complex circuitry, MakerWorks has you covered. So we want to be there for you to begin 101 level stuff. 
What's missing from this space? You, the kids, the curious people of Ann Arbor. What do you want to make? What do you want to learn? Have a conversation with us. Come in and let us know. Come on down. Fabulous secrets will be revealed to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Anne. Gosh, it's a heck of a library, isn't it?